This is a demonstration of interference of two different waves. What's uh, illustrated here is we have two wave sources, one coming from this point here and one coming from this point here. I'll refer to this as the top wave and this is the bottom wave. I've got uh, white lines inscribed on these pieces of plexiglass intended to represent wave crests. So here is the first wave crest, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, all the way to 31 wave crests. From the bottom wave source, I've also got 31 wave crests and there. I've got these two pieces of plexiglass oriented so that um, the number of wave crests from here to here is 31 and the number of wave crests between here and here is also 31. So at this point here, symmetrically located between the two sources, I have 31 wave crests coming from both sources. So we get constructive interference here. But then we can also move these in order to increase the number of waves uh, coming from this top source. Now I'm in a position where I have 32 wave crests from the top source and still 31 from the bottom. We still get constructive interference here, but this is called the first order uh, maximum. This one here that we found is the zeroth order where the difference in the wavelengths is zero. 31 wavelengths minus 31 wavelengths equals zero. Here we've got 32 wavelengths minus 31 wavelengths. It's just one wavelength difference, but we still get constructive interference. Then at this point, we've got 32, uh, 33 that is from the top, 31 from the bottom, the difference is two wavelengths. Now between these points, so, so if these were two sources of light, then we'd get a bright spot on the screen here. A bright spot also here and a bright spot here. Those are the uh, interference maxima. Halfway between those maxima, you get a minima, a minimum, or a constructive or destructive interference point where the wave crest of one wave coincides with the trough of the other wave and um, so that's a demonstration of, of uh, interference.